Hey, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to do something a little bit different than what we've been doing lately, but we're doing something super fun. We are going to take you guys on an adventure with us, <laughs> driving around South Jersey to find some of the best tacos. Since we're tacos. craving tacos, we're just gonna go on an adventure and try a couple different places. Yeah, so I mean, we've been stuck at home for a while and all we've really been doing is eating out and getting takeout. Takeout, and uh, we've been cooking a lot too. We have, but it's like, as you've seen, we have been cooking a lot. We All we've been doing really <laughs> is eating. I mean, yeah. honestly, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> but we were talking about like, what we could do and try to find like a best of South Jersey and tacos was probably on the top of the list. So yeah. we're going to head out on the road now and take you with us and try to find some really good tacos. Yep. Yeah. So you will be a, a surprise, I guess, yeah. see where we end up. We're not going to give you any ideas of where we're going next. So we're literally sitting in our driveway. We're going to pull out now and go yep. head out to another town in South Jersey to hit up our first restaurant. Anything you have to say? Yes. What? Hi everyone. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Are you ready for tacos? Yeah. Okay, cool. What happened? Daddy moved his wallet and now we go back home to get it. Yeah. She's right. Yep. Yeah. We, we went to the gas station to fill her up and he's like, so we are on our way eventually. We will get you guys some good tacos at some point today. We're just trying to make this interesting. Oh yeah. Steve always, literally always forgets something and we have to turn around, so. Bye. We are at our first destination. I don't think you, I'm trying to see, can you see anything outside no, of this car? You can kind of see a sign behind Steve over oh, yeah, there. Right there. We are at Mom. the exchange for Mommy. a taco cat. Mommy. So, what? Oh, she dropped her lammy. Uh -huh. So, Steve has actually had tacos from here before, and I haven't. We did a vlog sometime last year. Yeah, we came and here. We went to the exchange, but I got Little Saigon, and you got Taco Cat. Mm -hmm. And we, we didn't want to get stuff from the same place because we wanted to show a variety. So, it's not your first time, but it is my first time. And all I hear about is how good these tacos are, and Steve can vouch for how good they are personally. Yeah, so they're really good. We, Everything they do is fresh. Sorry, I gotta adjust this here. So we ordered online, um, and we want to tell you guys that too, like what the ordering process is like right now. So they have the order online option. Very we are, easy to use. Also, we're in Limwood. They have a new Margate location. So we're in Limwood, we ordered online and there was an option for them to bring it out to our car. So we chose like the pickup now mm -hmm. and it says it would be ready in about 20 minutes. So not bad. Yeah. So we're gonna hang out here until they bring our food out and then we'll show you what we got. Yeah. All right, so the food just came out. Lou's back there eating a quesadilla, so don't mind her. But what do we get here, Steve? So this one right here is the jerk chicken. Oh. The one in the middle. No, that's pork. Oh yeah, that's, that's pork. Maybe I should tell them. Okay. So this is the pork al pastor, mm -hmm. right? So it has some pineapple in it. And then we got in there a grilled mahi. Blackened mahi. Ma oh yeah, blackened. And we got a nice jerk chicken going on. Mm. So as you can see, Taco Cat, it's not like um, like authentic, like Mexican, where it's just like the corn tortilla, the chicken, like right. some diced yeah. onion and a little bit of like queso on queso fresco on top this is like i don't know how would you describe their tacos it's just like crazy flavor right like just a lot of mm -hmm. like these are like really good flavorful ingredients but... i would say like specialty tacos mm -hmm. like they do have like a like a ground beef and stuff but i feel like they're kind of like i don't want to say like gastro pub style but for some reason that's like the thought that comes to mind for whatever right. reason that's how i like think of it okay right yeah all right so which one do we want to try first? Because we are sharing these, so I kind of feel like we're going to each eat a half of one or something. Yeah. Um, Lou, how's your quesadilla? Good. All right. Do you want to start with the pork? But this also sure. is a little spicy. Yeah, that happens. You don't have to eat the salsa, just eat the quesadilla. Okay. By the way, she thinks everything is spicy. Like sometimes like when she gets ketchup, she's like, it's spicy, so. Well, it's already Kids. falling apart. So here, take your Oh, yeah, because we got corn, right? Yeah, corn is just Corn, like, like is a love-hate relationship. Mmm. Hi. Next, Hi. we're going to try the mahi. 
Mommy. So this is a blackened mahi with a like a slaw and a mango salsa. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good though. Mm. That blackened is like really flavorful. All right. our last one. Last taco. The jerk chicken. I feel like maybe we shouldn't break no, it. Like maybe you can know, bite taco. half and then pass it to me. Okay. You Let's know what I mean? Because it's like that. really full. No, don't so eat the last taco. I feel like you need all that. I'll go first. No. What? I want everybody to eat my last taco. Mm. This isn't yours. How's that? That's really good. Oh. Mom. Get in there. Mm-hmm. That jerk is good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, like, grilled, like, taste. Well, we got Taco Cat down. That is amazing. That's my favorite one. This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. This one has the most flavor, I feel like. I feel like it's, like, really summery tasting, too. Mm -hmm. Like the jerk, but then it has like that mango salsa and stuff on top, and I just feel like those are re like really good flavors for like the summer. Like just enough heat too, mm -hmm. a little spice on there. That's sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. Give me a bite. Can we go home? Lou, this is our first stop. This is how real couples eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our second stop is Miami Breeze Woo! in Northfield, and this is one we both have been to. We actually have a vlog from last year for here, so we'll link that, but we wanted to try some new stuff, but we yeah. couldn't leave this off the list because this is some of the best food in South Jersey. The vibe here is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, if you've ever been in there, I know you can't eat inside right now, but when we can, you need to come out and enjoy the atmosphere in Miami Breeze. It literally feels like you've been transported to Southern Florida <laughs> or like the Caribbean somewhere. So today we got some shrimp tacos. We we're just trying to change it up since we had the ones um, from, what's it called, Taco Cat. Yeah. We were trying to get something different. So we got the fries with it. And I know this is like about tacos in South Jersey, but when we went to look on the menu and we saw that they had a Trace Leche's cake. It's Steve's favorite cake. Yeah, so we could not. I had, to, I had to get it. Oh, we couldn't say no. So yeah. it's not, um, you know, part of the taco vibe going on, but we're going to eat it anyway. Yeah. All right. So what do you want to do? Each just grab. Well, yeah, we'll just grab a taco. Each grab a taco. We'll go from there. There's shrimp and everything in there. The car smells amazing. It right smells now. delicious. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we're going to try it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It's really good. What is this sauce in there? Like a chipotle or something? Yeah, it's got like a chipotle type sauce with sour cream. Mm-hmm. And there's a slaw in there. I'm really into that sauce. Mm. And I like the shell, it's a little crispy. It's got like mm -hmm. a toast toastedness to it. Yeah, these will not fall apart. Mm-mm. Mm. Real quick, tell them the ordering process. Oh, ordering process. Um, you call ahead, place your order on the phone, and you can either walk in and pick up your order, or when you're on the phone with them, tell them you want to bring it out to you. And they do um, delivery, too. Like, when we went to Taco Cat, we saw the Grubhub guy mm -hmm. going in. They use Grubhub. They use Grubhub here and, like, Uber Eats and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, if you're, like, close by, you can probably get a delivery. It's just that we aren't close to anything. No. So, we have to drive. All right. Really good taco. Yeah. We're going to finish these. And, um, I guess... Head off to our next, our next location. Should, should we come back and show them the Tres Leches when we're ready for it? Yeah, we'll show them this Tres Leches. You should see it. Yeah, before we head off to our third location, we'll come back when it's time for dessert. Okay. <laughs> that is the response. That's the authentic response to me opening this. <laughs> oh, look at all that milk down here in the bottom. Just, yeah. It's just swimming in it. I already know Lou wants that cherry on top. That's so fine. we're going to try this. We're going to have to like reach back there and let her try. Do you want to give her the first bite? Sure. Can you reach back there? Yep. Ready, Lou? Here it comes. <laughs> Mm. 
What do you think? Goody, goody, goody. Goody, yeah. goody, goody. Uh -huh. Hi, Angry. Mmm. Ooh. That's really good. And it's got rum in it. I was going to say, there is a flavor in that. There's rum in it. That it's I was so not good. expecting, and I didn't know what it was at first. It's Excuse rum. Me. Yeah. Mommy, can I have more cake? Of course you can, babe. Like, oh, yeah, this is delicious. Make sure oh, you get a piece of this. We, we, it was this or flan. Yeah. So I'm half tempted to run back in and grab some <laughs> flan. <laughs> Let's see what our last place has to offer. Maybe they offer something for dessert. But, yeah, if you're here, please don't leave this place without getting no. this cake. And it's homemade. It yeah. was just made today. Yeah, she told Steve that it literally just got there, like, right before we got there. So, on to our next and final on to the next. stop. And I'm not going to tell you where we're going, but I will say neither of us have ever eaten nope. there. It just came very highly recommended. So, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're at our last and final destination. I've never been here. It came pretty highly recommended from some people that we asked around from the area. And this is it. It's my camera. Oh, but um, looks like a hole in the wall. So I'm hoping it's really good. <gasps> oh my god look at these tacos oh. all right so we have hit up the last spot el tricolor in Epsican, but we did move to like the shopping center kind of down the street because there's only a couple of parking spots and yeah, i didn't want to like yeah. take up the parking but we these are individually wrapped but we did open them up just to like get a peek before we started and these look like super authentic mexican Ooh. style yeah like you know how it's like that style is like minimum yeah it's Cilantro not there's not onions. a lot of stuff on there but the flavors are good and it came with a lime wedge which makes me happy because i love that yeah we're gonna give that and a these are steak because we realized we did not get any steak yet today no. Nope. So we're kind of like, you know, doing a little variety from everywhere. Yep. And I'm like kind of full already. So this, I mean, I'm glad we only picked three spots. Because yep. if we decide to go somewhere else, I don't think it would be happening. Oh, they're hot. Yeah, Ooh, they are. Take your papers. It's hot. It's not hot. You're a puss. <gasps> Alright, ready? I'm not ready. My paper's all wonky. I'm just going to sit here and eat paper. Ready? All right, I'm ready. All right, go. Oh, man, bro. Mm. Hey, can I have a bite? Now, these tacos that we had today, they were great. But if you want, like, authentic, like, Mexican-style soft corn tortillas, and these aren't falling apart. No. Plus, they're wrapped in paper. You gotta check this spot out. Oh man, this is It's a little so hole in the wall, as you saw from that video. The sign was barely even visible. Um, but this stuff is fresh and it's delicious. I feel like it's yeah. one of those spots. Like I said, we've never been. But now that we've been, it's like if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know what I love about our little taco tour today? Is that every place we went to is very different from the other places we went True. to. You know? Like it's not we, like three Mexican taco places. Yeah, so like this really, I feel like, goes across the board with like, depending on what kind of tacos you like or you're in the mood for. Because Taco Cat, like I said, it's just kind of like that fusion, like gastropub mm -hmm. style. <laughs> then Miami Breeze is Mom. like just straight, like Latin, no, Caribbean okay. flavors. Okay. And this is like authentic Mexican. So, yeah. Uh -huh. I find it cool, actually, without planning oh, it. Man. Because we didn't plan that. So we just picked good. places really? that we liked and that were recommended to us. Mm -hmm. And everything yeah. is drastically different from the last. Now, what did you say? You liked it? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, man, bro. This is so good. <laughs> well, you heard it from her. Our taco tour is complete. Yeah. That's sad but true. 
I'm okay with it because I'm full. I mean, I was like struggling. Steve so could go all day, but you know, <laughs> um, all three places are really good. Like I said before, all three places are super different from each other. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what kind of tacos you like. You will definitely like something from one of these spots. It really just depends on preference and what you're in the mood yeah, for. Yeah, what you're looking for. I will have to say my personal preference, like I'm not going to rate them. Like, they're all good in yeah, their own all ways. they're really good. But, like, I think my favorite place for food like this will always be Miami Breeze. Mm. Like, okay. for me, that's my style. That, those, like, Latin and Caribbean flavors, like, that's what I like. I'm going to piggyback off of that. Okay. Because I kind of feel the same way. Like, I like Taco Cat. I've eaten there now twice. I've had every single taco they have to offer. Um, they're great. And but we we that's do all they love have, those kinda. authentic kind of Mexican tacos. Like we love oh, those love too. So I, now that I know about this place, El Tricolor and Absican on New Road, that's going to be our um, spot for. I'm going to be hopping out here for some and tacos. You told me something that we didn't mention that when you ordered from there, they asked if you wanted them how Mexican oh, or Mexican or American style. Right, so we got Mexican style. And Which is cilantro and onions, and American is probably like with cheese and lettuce and tomato or like a, something like that. Yeah, but I know for Taco me... Taco Bell style. Yeah, <laughs> I know for me Miami Breeze will always be just my top yeah. contender. Everything else is slamming though, so definitely go out, support your local businesses. Support we, local. It feels good to like drive around South Jersey today and support some local businesses in this area because, you know, we like supporting yeah. our local area. So you get out there and eat some tacos. Don't forget to comment or send me a message on Instagram or something. Let me know what you want to see because we did tacos. We need a best of blank. Daddy. What tour pick, should we do next? Alright, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, subscribe. Bye. Bye.